Do you know how to count the ages of towns or buildings? You'll find out at the end of this lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia. 안녕하세요, 노경진입니다. Welcome to Korean Counters for Beginners, where you'll learn how to count all sorts of different objects in Korean. Sung Se-nim, what counter will we learn in this lesson? 살. First, let's take a look at what sorts of objects can be counted with this counter. When counting age, you can use this counter. 살. This counter can be used when you're counting the ages of people or animals. However, you can't use this counter when you're counting the ages of inanimate objects, such as buildings or towns. Okay, let's count from 1 to 10 with this counter. 한 살, 두 살, 세 살, 네 살, 다섯 살, 여섯 살, 일곱 살, 여덟 살, 아홉 살, 열 살. When you read this counter with the numbers 5 to 10, which have batjim, the counter sounds different. Let's listen to them once again. 다섯 살, 낫 다섯 살, 여섯 살, 낫 여섯 살. 일곱 살, 낫 일곱 살, 여덟 살, 낫 여덟 살, 아홉 살, 낫 아홉 살, 열 살, 낫 열 살. Okay, now let's take a look at some sample sentences using this counter. 저는 올해 스물다섯 살입니다. I'm 25 years old this year. 저는 세살된 강아지가 있습니다. I have a three-year-old dog. 우리 동네에는 백살된 나무가 있습니다. In my town, there's a 100-year-old tree. Now it's time for a quiz. I'm going to ask you a question in English. Please answer in Korean. Are you ready? Make sure to use the right counter. How old is your brother? How old is this dog? Do you know the counter to count the ages of towns or buildings? The answer is... Yan. This counter literally means years and originates from a Chinese character. Unlike the counter sal, you can use this counter when you're counting the ages of inanimate objects. Let's see an example. 이 도시는 천년 되었습니다. This literally means this city became 100 years old. When you're using this counter, it's better to use the verb meaning to become at the end of a sentence like this one. Okay, everyone, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you next time.